All right, hey everybody, all my e-learners out there. This week's lesson, we're gonna focus on texture. Now, texture means how something feels. For example, my shirt, it feels soft. My beard feels rough. My hair feels fluffy. A dog could be soft, a bunny. Sandpaper is very rough. A cactus is prickly. A porcupine is sharp. There's a lot of textures out there. And that's what we're gonna focus on today. So today's lesson requires a piece of paper and a pencil. All right, I got my paper and my pencil. And we're gonna title this Texture. And for this assignment, we are going to trace our hand to start off. That's because our hand is usually what we use to feel textures. All right, so I traced my hand. That was step one. Now, we have five fingers on our hands, so we're gonna make five textures today. Our first texture will start at the thumb. Here, we're going to make a furry or hairy texture. And it's a pretty simple process. We'll start at the bottom of the thumb and we're gonna do small dashes with our pencil all in a row, kind of like a furry ring. Once you've done that, we'll move up and we'll make another row, making sure that this row overlaps the one beneath it. And we'll keep working our way up the thumb. And as you can see, our thumb is starting to look very hairy, like it belongs on a Sasquatch or a Yeti. Now, you can make your hair longer or shorter, but the closer you put it together, the more full and soft it'll look. The further you space it out, the more rough and coarse it will look. And we're gonna take this all the way up to the tip of our finger and boom, we have a furry, hairy thumb. You should wanna just pet it. Now, let's move on to our pointer finger. For this one, we're gonna do a scaly texture. Things that are scaly would be like a mermaid tail or a dragon, a lizard or a snake. A lot of different things can come with scales, like a fish. So we'll start at the top of our finger and we're gonna make a bunch of U's. This time, we're going down the finger. And we're just gonna keep on making those U's all the way down the finger. And as you can see, that creates a layered effect where it looks like each scale is on top of the other. This is one of my favorite textures to draw. Scales. It looks very smooth this way, but if we were to go this way, it looks like it would be very hard to brush up against. So we have furry, hairy thumb and a scaly finger. The next texture we're gonna do is an itchy texture. Something that when you look at it, it makes you go, ooh. That would be like a wool sweater or a really itchy blanket. To start this texture, we'll go to the top of the finger and we're just gonna make some kind of crooked wavy lines coming straight down. These are called vertical lines because they go up and down. So far we're not getting that itchy effect. So let's add some horizontal lines. That means lines that go left to right. But this time, let's go out of the lines of our finger so that we have those extra little tail pieces coming out.
now it's starting to look itchy, like a potato sack. All right, it's looking good so far, but let's put in those final details. Little curls coming out of our squares that we made. Now, I don't know about you, but I would not enjoy a blanket made out of that material. Oof, itchy, scratchy not fun. Itchy. All right, let's get inspired by our itchy and let's do one like a cactus, a prickly texture. For this one, we'll keep our lines pretty straight from top to bottom. Those are our vertical lines that we talked about. And now to make our prickly pieces, we're gonna make little V's. We'll put these right on our line. You can put them wherever you want. Oof, I don't even want to touch that. <laughs> Ouch! Just like a cactus. Prickly. For our final texture, we're going to do a rough surface. So let's make bricks. Bricks can be very rough and porous, not something that you'd want to have as a pillow or a sponge. So we'll start with horizontal lines. That means lines that go left to right. And now we need to stack our lines just like we would a brick. So we'll have one coming down and we'll move over and then we'll come back. Now that kind of looks like a brick wall, but if we want to touch it, it looks like it would be smooth. So we need to add those final details to make it look kind of rough. And we'll just do that by adding little dashes. And now we can see that that texture is coming through by adding straight lines. Oh, now that definitely doesn't look like something you'd want to sleep on or try to rollerblade. So we created five different textures today. Furry, scales, itchy, prickly, rough. Now, let's add one more texture and let's add the actual texture of our hands. We can do that by adding the different lines created by the folds. So let's go ahead and just add those in. Wow, that's a good looking hand. That completes step one of this week's assignment. Step two allows us to get even more creative. What you'll do is flip your page over And you're going to draw a picture using at least one of the textures that we learned. You can use as many as you want, but make sure your picture has at least one texture. I'll show you my example in three, two, one, All go. Right, so here's my example of a drawing with textures. We're able to get a few of the ones we practiced on here. I have my prickly cactus. My mermaid's tail has scales. Her hair is layers like our furry, hairy thumb. And then I added some more, like soft, squishy clouds and rolling smooth hills. I'm excited to see what you come up with. Make sure that you post a picture of both the front and back of your assignment. 
All right, this is due a week from today. I'll see you guys live on Tuesday on the Zoom.